A day out that makes all the difference. One charity hard at work in Otley, West Yorkshire, collecting people from home and taking them for a Friday fish and chips get together. On the minibus, a chinwag for pensioners like Tom and Len. Oh, it's, it's marvellous, is this? Get, get out, you get out and about, that's the main thing. If you are physically and mentally on your own, totally, you, you tend to withdraw into yourself. This group count themselves lucky, but Age UK say their figures reveal a growing number of chronically lonely older people who have very little or no interaction at all with the outside world. These figures are a massive wake-up call for this country. We know that over one million older people are often or always lonely. That's a staggering amount of people living lives where they're not seeing people as much as they'd like. And really, it's, it's almost a national shame. The government's facing calls to put social care help for isolated pensioners higher on the agenda. With our increasingly ageing population and with loneliness linked to depression, dementia and physical ill health. It can lead to depression and all sorts of things so being able to bring people out and, and try and avoid them feeling lonely and isolated, it, it will reduce the risk of those, those factors. Um, and it also it gives them better mental health as well because it, they're happier in themselves. I deal with it as much as I can. You have to learn to be happy in your own company, Yes, you? that's right, yeah. Philosophically, it isn't what you've got on your own, it's how you cope with it. The question is, how will the system cope as more of us live for longer? Often it can be the smallest of gestures, like a phone call or a quick cup of tea and a natter that provide an invaluable point of contact. Peter Lane, 5 News.